Hello all. I am Sriram and we are from Team SAK. I have Anadeep with me. We are very happy to participate in this missing hackathon and it gives us immense satisfaction to provide a solution for a real noble cause. Why now? That would be the first question. Is it an Indian problem? No, it is a global problem. Stats are really threatening and devastating. In India, about 45,000 children are missing every year. About 50% of this go untraced. These kids become beggars, used for sex trade and what not. Many unimaginable criminal activities are all done through these children. About 3 lakh child beggars are there in India. Many children fall into the clutches of the gangs every year and they become antisocial elements. They are forced to become antisocial elements too. Even if you require them after 2 or 3 years, they become irrecoverable in their character. 76% of the missing children are women. Now, enough of Indian statistics. Let's go to the global stats. Every year, US and UK also loses a lot of people into this category. Every 40 seconds in the US, a kid goes missing. As per FBI records, 85k plus active missing persons record are available. UK is no different. 3 lakh plus reported missing records are there and many of them are under the age of 18. Nepal has got a very bad record. 5,000 women disappear as a result of human trafficking related to prostitution and organ harvesting. Connect this fact with one more stunning fact that the sex trafficking may be as high as 150 billion US dollar revenue annually. So all these children who are kidnapped are being sent into a field which they should not be in, which is actually a threat for the entire human community. So what do we do? Technology and we people should come together to solve this mystery. We propose a solution which is 100% technical, which has the face recognition and emotion recognition together coming into picture. Face recognition is done to trace the content in the directory or the repository which has been collected where the missing children images are available. I need to just feed in an image. I will find out if that particular image is in the repository and I can search. This is one aspect of it. Second, I can take a real-time video feed and I can understand if that person in the video feed is one of the is all is the person who is one of the images in that repository. Through a video feed, we understand the person is there as part of the repository also. All these can be done real time. We have shown we will show you the demo, and the demo is also made available in the same link. You can understand that once it is found, we can make an alert and update to the concerned person. For example, when we get a real video, video feed from a common place or from a place where people come in a large numbers, we can identify that so easily and we can now trace from that location. This will help the police, this will help the people who are searching, NGOs to come together to identify and to recognize if a particular kid or a, a child who is missing is found in a particular group of people when some, some good thing happens in the uh, city or some gathering happens in the city. Emotions are always valuable for the second half of our implementation. We have cameras in most of the places in all the countries which are developing and developed countries also. In the places where people gather, definitely cameras are there. So I can now have cameras there to watch the emotions of the people who are sitting. If the emotion is giving me a suspicion saying that this guy could be having a kid next to him, which could be a kidnapped kid, which could be a hijacked kid, I can pass my suspicious angle to him, I can watch him closely and if things are bad, we can recover the kid immediately. If not, we can leave it as such. So this is real time. This is 100% real time where the video feed will be immediately analyzed and I get the uh, emotions recorded immediately. And the person who is kidnapping a kid or the person who is going missing would not be normal in emotions. So obviously you can see that there is a catch there. So we clubbed these two and we are getting you a solution. Face recognition through machine learning, emotion detection through camera feed and deep learning. Both are very good. Both are real time. I could say both are 100% accurate. Now, first one, face recognition will help you in enhancing the search. Second one, the suspect identification can be done very easily. And this we do with the age, gender and emotion levels are all coming hand in hand together. How face recognition is done? Very simple. We have used machine learning. We have used Python. The system is trained with so many number of images, numerous images. 
any person's image can be easily trained it takes about half a minute for the training the next time when a video feed is sent in into the system if that particular person is there it catches accurately 100% i'm going to show you the demo there and this works for all gender all age groups this is how it works i have created the data set the input image is pre processed feature extraction is done training is happening and then i get the result it takes about 30 seconds for you to get the identification done real time you can see in the picture that it is me name of the id equal to sri ram is recognized i have already pre trained this and this code is made available this data set is made available you can create your own data set in no time or the existing data set can also be used and it is very easy and reliable coming to the emotion detection we have used the intel open vino deep learning platform this is for improved neural network performance as well as deep learning performance very cost effective and we took one thing into consideration all this uh, creation all this creativity all this technical stuff should be working for all the platforms so this is very much suitable for all the platforms and no great hardware requirements are there this will all work fine we used rcnn and deep learning approach to determine the emotions we determine happy neutral sad surprise and anger emotions and we are not saying you are just happy we are saying you are 30% happy and 70% neutral we are saying you are 35% surprised 25% angry so we are also able to predict it 100% and you can see that here i am a male i am angry right now it's my image and i am neutral for this much percentage but angry is more the angry is more so all these are done through tensor flow and model optimizer is what we have created and it is 100% working you could see the demo as well in the demo section we provide you a technology which supports which works with machine learning and deep learning 100% real time which provides you emotion detection and face recognition for enhanced child safety and to trace the missing children we are team sak i hope you like the demo as well i have given the demo link kindly go through it and let us know in case of queries thank you very much from shriram and anadeep